Hey everybody, it's Phil and welcome back to Abandoned Oz. I am currently at the Jubilee Park light rail stop in the suburb of Glebe in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Now I'm just walking up to a spot known as the Street with No Name. Now this area uh, in its past, in the 60s, has, uh, has been the place of you know, many deaths, many murders, all of them located around uh, this street, otherwise known as the street with no name. It has, it has been blocked off for, uh, for many years, pretty heavily as a matter of fact. The darkness surrounding this street started in 1968 when the mutilated body of a three-year-old boy was found along the street. Eight years after that, the body of a 12-year-old boy was found not far from here also along the street with no name. He suffered severe head injuries. Seven months after that, another body of a 12-year-old boy was found with multiple stab wounds. There'd been a few other deaths around here as well, one of them satanic. I guess pretty much ever since then this street's been closed off and is, uh, I think it's rated as one of the eight most haunted roads in the world, which also is pretty interesting. It's a very eerie street. Um, on the gate, uh, for many years, there's been a sign here um, saying danger, crane working overhead. But luckily enough, this time around, since uh, filming this video last time, there is a way in. All right, just crawl through this little hole in the fence here. So we'll go for a little bit of a walk through, as I was unable to last time. Some people believe in, you know, the ghosts and uh, cursed spots and things like that. I'm a bit on and off with it. But, um, I do find it quite interesting that this part's blocked off. I mean, there's, you know, thinking about it, there's really no reason as to why it should be. That seems to be pretty bad luck. bin chickens there. Straight down, it's just up there. And there's an alleyway beside the street as well we'll walk down. There's a little gate there as well, looks like it's missing the wire off the fence. Definitely an eerie feeling, a bit colder than usual as well. Again, if you believe in that kind of stuff. I like to, I like to. Looks like there's an alleyway that leads in behind it. There may be a gate, but I'll see if it's open. Seriously, it's even that's closed off. Very overgrown. Yeah, the alleyway parallels the street. Let's see if I can walk around to the other end and I'll show you the viaduct as well. The viaduct paralleling the street with no name. Um, is pretty much where the bodies were found. There's also a grandstand uh, just at the park here, which 
can't exactly go and film now because there's quite a few people using it. Uh, where the body of a, a homeless bloke was found. And apparently there was so much blood that um, there was so much blood that they actually had to replace some of the wood panels or the timber um, on this grandstand. One of the last deaths related to this viaduct um, was around this part here, and it was actually a rail worker. Um, can't recall what year that was in. And here's the viaduct that parallels the street with no name. It's now a light rail line. Continue walking along here and make a turn just up here. We'll end up behind the street with no name, or the other end of it anyway. It's also closed off. But up here is the street with no name. And it basically just ends uh, on top of this hill here, so. Very short, very interesting, very, very eerie place. That closed up alleyway, like with all the bushes and things like that, uh, that parallels this street with no name uh, the other end of that sort of alleyway or laneway is just up here. Yeah, so. Just for a. Right. It's just going back down and up to the street with no name. They didn't seem to fix this that often now, but um, it's interesting how they just tried so hard to keep people out, even though it's um, technically just some asphalt and trees and a couple of bin chickens but yeah alrighty so basically all of the stories in this video um, are things that I've read and done research on uh, from past uh, news stories and uh, other websites and threads but yeah that's pretty much all for this video I thought I would come back and film this I have filmed this before but I just wanted to see if there was access into the street with no name um, this time there was, which was pretty cool. I was able to get that footage and some other photos. But, yeah, as I said, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to Abandoned Oz. We're not terribly far away from 10,000 subscribers, so it'll be hugely appreciated if you could help us get there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.